Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the differences between a gun enthusiast, an armorer, and a gunsmith. Um, we'll start with, we'll say, a gun enthusiast is someone who really enjoys firearms, maybe owns a few of them, uh, who, you know, knows how to disassemble their firearms and clean them, and they just know a lot about guns in general. Um, that kind of person, very interesting to talk to, but whatever they may tell you about, oh, this particular brand of whatever, this, you can use this ammunition and that, you know, take what they say with a grain of salt. Um, look it up on your own, confirm what they tell you maybe, um, just because they're interested and just because they know a lot about their particular firearms doesn't mean they're an expert in any other way, so... I guess that's what I would call an enthusiast, just someone who really enjoys firearms, enjoys talking about firearms, and has a decent knowledge of them. Now, um, an armorer is somebody who has an intimate knowledge of a particular firearm and how it works. Uh, say the AR-15. I am not particularly an armorer, I haven't gone through school to be an AR-15 armorer, however, I have built them myself from parts, so I am intimately familiar with the AR-15. So I would consider myself an AR-15 armorer. I can diagnose problems, um, I can put one together from you from a thing of parts, I have the tools, to, proper tools to work on an AR-15. Um, and I guess that's where you start to fall into an armorer category. You have the tools and the knowledge and the ability to completely disassemble one, assemble one, troubleshoot, and uh, make sure it's safe to fire. So some of what you see here lends to that. We have vice blocks for and uh, AR-15 armor's wrench for putting stuff together, um, a laser bore sighter for sighting in your scopes, Loctite for Loctiting down in your scopes, and some parts on your firearm. We've got snap caps for just about any common caliber that I come across, 22 9 millimeter, 223 12 gauge. We have um, a maximum headspace gauge for the 223 as well for when you're assembling a uh, AR type rifle. We also have just an extra parts kit, our survival kit for our AR that replaces our most commonly damaged, broken, and lost parts. So right here is kind of when you start to get into the armorer's level knowledge of how to assemble, disassemble, clean, and maintain firearms. And the last level is a gunsmith. Now there are a few uh, gunsmith type uh, upgrades that an average person can do, say betting a stock or free floating a barrel. So um, another gunsmithing task would say um, drilling and tapping a rifle for a scope. That requires special machinery, special tools, um, recrowning a barrel, um, just small things, not small things, generally larger things uh, that the average gun owner wouldn't take on on their own. Say re-bluing or refinishing a rifle, um, restoring old rifles, even creating new stocks from a blank piece of wood. That's stuff that goes into a gunsmith's knowledge. And that's something you should definitely go to school for um, so that you can get a lot of practice in it. Um, maybe you can start apprenticing at a gun shop and get that skill as well. Um, but for those of us who don't have that time or the ability to uh, uh, try and attain that career, um, I would say your armor is where m your most advanced gun owners would end up. Um, they're more than willing to do some work and tinkering and upgrades on their own guns, but when it comes to uh, changing the metal, drilling into the metal, or actually uh, effectively changing your rifle from how it was constructed, uh, you might start getting into that gunsmith work and you're going to want to seek the help of an expert gunsmith. So. That's all we have for today. We'd like to thank you again for stopping by. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we will see you next time.